now we're at the Lyndon B. Johnson State Park um, right next to the Pernanales River checking this place out seems pretty cool out here very quiet places and take pictures so there wasn't necessarily somebody stopping us I guess we should have stopped at the visitor center um, maybe get a map or something but seems like a big park I see a lot of cars driving off into the, the open um, field there but I don't know we just don't really feel like going in too far Did we even get to the river from here? You know, there's just so much to see here. So much. Um, I say this all the time, like... Um, there's just too much to offer here in Fredericksburg. So much to see. Um, so many things to do. And you can't really... I mean, I'm lucky enough to live in Austin not too far from there um, or not too far from here but um, yeah there's just too much to see out here um, too much to um, check out experience there's probably a lot more to see here than um, than we really have time for you know it's, it's really you go on vacation um, and really check some place out for like a day or a couple days, but it still really isn't enough time. Um, I I don't consider a vacation um, to be like one or two weeks. You have to really, if you consider something a vacation, like you want to immerse yourself into the culture, into the environment, and can't really do that off of a couple days but um, very blessed to have this opportunity and adventure to come out here and explore and I'm super grateful you know in college I I was more isolative uh, than anything I didn't really experience a lot I didn't really go out a lot um, and you know more into the uh, into my adulthood um, that I didn't really explore as much and um, you know you you think about that stuff people not necessarily um, going out um, having a good time being more introverted um, but now as I get older I I'm doing that a lot more the reason why I bring up this story is because like I remember one time I had a patient um, I think I was still in school and I was telling talking to them about my life and they wanted to know what kind of hobbies I was into what I did um, on my off days um, and like I told
told him I didn't really do anything. Um, that was a big answer for me all the time. I, I didn't really go out much. I didn't really do anything. And um, until this day, I I remember him clearly. And he was telling me like, you need to get out more. You need to get out of your comfort zone. And, What about this donkey? Hi. We're probably not supposed to be doing this. Probably gonna get in trouble. But, whatever. Hi! Hi, donkey! All right. That's enough. Pretty cool out here. On open land, a lot of fresh air. about this state park is that I don't know it seems like a drive-through state park um, slash museum um, you, you're seeing like a whole bunch of um, like things and um, historical landmarks and monuments etc that um, you know, represent the history of this place. That's all we do, take pictures. We go out, take pictures. Really happy with this GoPro. Yeah, sure. What's oh, coming near us? Hi. Hi. All right. Last thing we're going to do before we exit out the park, we're going to um, check out the river.
It's a little damn, I know. The Pertinales River. So we're back exploring the town here. About to make some dinner. Got some steaks going on. Gonna put it on the grill. Start the fire. And just chill. Steaks and I got some bratwurst. Some sausage. I don't know, what time is it? It's about to be six o'clock. I'm not starting that fire. Um, let me see what time sunset is here. Sunset's at 619. Hmm, we can start it at six. About 30 minutes or so. All right, just finished making dinner. Put the chomp on it. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's get this fire going. 